Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss a very important topic: uh, how to crack the software product development companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, Uber, and lot many. So a lot of my viewers ask me what is the typical interview process of these companies. So I decided to make a video which will cover what is the standard procedure of the interview and what are the basic topics which we, you have to cover uh, so that you can get success in these interviews. So let's start. Uh, before going through the standard interview process, I want to clear some myths regarding these companies. So there's a very popular myth that uh, you have to have a computer science engineering degree to get a job in these companies, but it is not true. I myself is an electronics engineer and still I got a, a offer from one of these companies. So it is not true that you have to have a computer science background uh, or degree to get uh, in these companies. You can even be an electrical engineer, you can be a mechanical, you can be a metallurgical engineer too, and you can fairly succeed in these type of interviews. So it purely depends how you how you uh, prepare and how you perform in the interview process. So let's go through the interview process. This is a standard interview process. It may deviate a little, but this is a standard uh, which these companies follow. So uh, this is basically uh, it comprises of two parts, which is one is training interview and other is on site interview. So what these companies do it before they call the candidates at their office for the on site interview they do one or two initial rounds so that they can filter out some stu students or candidates uh, so that they can save a lot of time and energy and money of their company because uh, in the screening interview it is usually that 50 to 60 percent of uh, 50 60 or 70 percent of the total applicants are rejected and only 30 to 40 percent get filtered out and they are sent for the on-site interview so this screening interview is basically uh, it could be a telephonic round or it could be a coding challenge which you have to, the hr will share a link with you and you have to complete that within 20 24 to 48 hours it would basically it is fairly simple as compared to other on-site interviews it will just test your uh, data structure and alg algorithmic language so the interview will give you one question and you will be have some online uh, document where you can write the code and uh, that is visible to the interviewer so it will usually uh, one and a half hour or one hour long and it will have two to three alg algorithmic questions so if you are fairly comfortable with uh, algorithm and data structure you can easily pass this round and go to the on-site interview so uh, the the problem here is a lot of students are good at algorithms but they are not able to write a good good uh, code so you have to write a good code and which is bug free and which is very good in terms of space and time complexity so that uh, the interviewer will uh, uh, will be impressed and will send you to the on site interview so the two things regarding the screening interview first of all you have to be very fairly good in data structure and algorithms and you can you have to be good in writing a clean code using any of the languages so these company don't really care about what language or what platform you are using so if you are good in any of the language like java c c plus 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 javascript perl any language so uh, there's a fair chance of you to pass this interview so once you pass the screening interview you will be called by the for the on site interview it, if the company is in the same country country or in a different country you will be arrange all the flight tickets and the hotel which is usually done by the the company itself so on the on-site interview it is uh, basically three to four rounds uh, where two are technic uh, technical coding uh, uh, rounds and one is system design round and one is behavioral interview which is usually done by the hiring manager which for the team which you are interviewing for so that uh, Coding challenges would be again the same as that of screening round, but the difficulty level would be very hard uh, and it will basically cover the topics like dynamic programming, greedy algorithms, or divide and conquer, and many other uh, standard uh, algorithms of graphs and other data structures. So, here again, you will be asked about the data structure and algorithms and your previous work as well. So, you have to be fair fairly uh, fairly uh, comfortable in explaining what projects and what products you have worked in 
in the past companies if you are an experienced guy or if you are a, if you are a student you have to be comfortable in explaining your projects which you have done in your internship so after the two coding challenges or rounds you will have a system design round which is basically a it is not there is no answer for this question asked in this round this is basically a discussion of you with the interviewer so he'll ask a very abstract question like design a, a facebook messenger or design a social networking site like design a uber design a book my show like site so it will be a, a very abstract question you have to come with a different ideas you have to convey your thought process what frameworks you're using what what how will you, how will you scale the system how will you design your db schema what are the front end technologies you're going to use how the server services you you will expose and what the technologies you will be using so it is very vast so it will be usually one in one and a half hours of uh, of of time and it is a make or break like this is a very important in terms of in terms of position you are getting or in terms of compensation this is a very deciding factor so this carries a huge weight as a system design interview so let us see uh, what uh, we actually have to prepare usually student or candidates there's a lot of lot of material present online but they don't have the knowledge what exactly they have to study or what they have to prepare for so i'll tell you these basic things which you have to go through and i i promise you that if you if you go through the three or four months rigorously you will definitely can crack any of these software development uh, companies so one is data structures algorithm this is the most important topic you have to prepare for this is you can say the heart of every software development company interview 50 to 70% of question you will be asked in these topics only so you have to have an ability to convey your algorithmic language to uh, to have your convey your algorithmic knowledge along with you have to should have a good practice so that you can write a clean code and present it to the interviewer so even if you have a good algorithmic language if you're not able to write a clean code or if you're not able to write even a code it is not going to good enough so it requires the both you you need to have good algorithmic thinking as well as ability to write a good code which is fairly good in terms of time and space complexity so the second thing is system design interview which we have already talked so uh, I'll, I'll i'll show you what topics you have to prepare and from where you can prepare for this system design interview because this is fairly uh, new to the tech interviews so there's not much uh, material available online but i'll tell, tell you some youtube channels and some websites where there's a fair amount of good uh, technical material present for this system design interviews behavioral interviews again is not as important these for uh, as compared to the system design and coding rounds but still it has some sort of a weightage uh, associated with with it so it will be basically taken by the hiring manager of the team uh, which you have applied for so let's see what topics we have to prepare first of all and uh, from where we have to prepare let's see now so in the data structures and algorithms you have to be fairly comfortable with array you have to be comfortable with queue linked list trees bst so you need to understand what are these data structure why they are used what is the running time complexity for the different operations and what are the application which are using these data structure and which cases you it is good to use a linked list tree i missed it hash tables even hash tables is very important so you need to know the hashing concepts um where you can apply them and decrease the algorithmic running time complexity or space time complexity of the problem so first of all you have to uh, go through these uh, data structures you have to do some standard insertion deletion operations try to do with yourself uh, and then uh, try to code code them on the compiler or on the paper uh that would be very very uh, very uh, good for you for the for the interview preparation in the algorithmic side you have to have a good hand in greedy dynamic programming is one of the favorite topic if you are if you are interviewing for amazon or google because you will expect at least two to three question from dynamic programming 
divide and conquer graph graph algorithms are again very important the like breadth for search depth for search these are very important so you'll you will easily find questions on these topics and this is the sources which you can prepare geeks for geeks is, is my personal favorite the reason is it has a vast compilation of all the problems and the interview experience according to the company so if you're let's say you're preparing for amazon so you can see all the interview experiences of the amazon for the profile you can see what questions were asked and and what kind of questions they are usually asking so it's very good size and it's a, it's a huge compilation of all the topics so you can take a topic you can study about it then there's a lot of questions given on the arrays link list queues uh, dynamic programming so i have a couple of friends working in google so they asked they told me that even they look for the questions from geeks for geeks before taking the interview so it's it's it has a huge collection so if you are able to complete the geeks for geeks completely so it would be more more than enough so it's a huge compilation of problem lead code is one of the online judge you can uh, write try to write a code uh, and see if you are able to uh, pass all the test cases from there so geeks for geeks and lead code are must i would suggest take a book or, or take a copy of this cracking, cracking the coding interview this is a very standard book which all the inter interviews and uh, uh, usually follow this book on the interviewers usually follow this book also um, uh, maybe you will not get a direct question from this book but the concept which are used in this book will be fairly applied to other questions which are asked in the interviews so hacker rank and hacker art are again a uh, very good online judges where you can see a lot of challenges going on you can take participate of in them even though you don't if you not fairly succeed in them but try to participate as much as possible if you are a, if you are working professional type try to try to utilize your weekends you have 48 hours so if you utilize your weekends you can fairly do good enough uh, in these judges online judges my personal favorite is interview bit is so again very very beautifully beautifully designed uh, website so it has a huge compilation of problem and you can you can uh, fairly write the code you will you will get the hints and accordingly you will get a score so this is uh, this is designed by one of the uh, uh, ex facebook employees so this is my personal favorite interview bit you can you can try and and see how good it is so these are one uh, these are some of the uh, topics and the resources which where you have to prepare for data structure and algorithms so i think it would take nearly 3 to 4 four months at the most if you if you if you invest 2 uh, hours daily so if you if you are able to invest more than 2 hours you can complete this even in 2 to 3 months easily you can be fairly good with this so you will be fairly good with the with the interview questions if you if 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 you invest Two to three months on these topics from these resources. So these these resources are one of the best resources which I've uh, I've gone through. Oh, uh, I have been preparing for uh, uh, for many months from from these uh, resources, and I found them best among all the resources which are present. So let's now see how to prepare for the system design interview. Usually, the question which will be asked is like. you have to design a messenger you have to design uber you have to design some social media app a book my show so it is it is it is like fairly abstract though the so the candidate should be able to first point out what functionality he has to develop along with the technical design so important points you have to you have to have in your mind is you have to give a good db design you have to make your application scalable so the number of users is increasing it should not uh, it should not shut shut down or it should not behave uh, very slow so you have to have scalability issues concerned with your application you have to have a good cache design you have to uh, tell the interview what is your server choice which server you will use application server which db you will use it is if it is sql db it is good or no sql db with the proper reasoning and you have to convey uh, your interview of what in infrastructure you are using and if you are using cdn or not so these these are the points you, you should keep in mind while uh, while answering question question regarding the system design interview so these are the some of the sources which are by far the best source available for system design interview 
one is uh, the site is scalability.com so it will have all the recent changes with the with the uh, with the big companies that they are doing to the architecture like twitter did a fairly big change to the architecture so it has a very good amount of uh, number of blogs regarding these tech companies so you should fairly bookmark this site scalability.com there's a very one good youtube channel which i found as a success in tech there's one guy which has fairly uh, uh, made some nine to ten videos on system design interviews they are very good and they fairly cover all the topics which i have stated in this slide there's one youtube channel from Sharoy. it has uh, data section algorithm solution as well as the system design interview solution. So this is again one of the very good um, YouTube channel for system design interview preparation and this is one of the link which is a github link which will tell you all the resources uh, Compiled resources which you can use for your system design interview Always remember I mean if you're, if you're interview for the good company like Google Amazon They'll always have a system design interview round and this will play a very crucial part in your selection or rejection So better be be prepared for it because it is a very abstract type of question So you have to have some of the points in your mind so that you can uh, uh, push those mind uh, those push those points harder and more concentrate on them them so it would be good if you if you if you uh, go through these resources because they are very fairly good for system design interview preparation So that's all for the for the interview preparation resources and all the things so I wish you very good luck for the preparation and I Hope you like my content and you you can comment and like my video and please subscribe my channel I am putting a lot of effort to make these videos i've also made a facebook page which is poor doctor has a link given in this slide so i'll always also put this into the description so i hope you like this video and uh, i hope you will carry on your preparation for the these development the software development giants thank you